Hello again. Good to be with you. As we come to this uh, 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we have some very powerful passages from Holy Scripture to uh, stimulate our reflection on our lives and our relationship to other people. I was taken up by the first lines of the Gospel today, uh, and I have a particular reason why they struck me. It says, at that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, someone we saw was driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me, for whoever is not against us is for us. I'm going to be having a mass at St. Ed's for the class reunions of a number of the, of the classes of the school. And I have to say that one of the things that strikes me as I reflect back on my high school days is those strange, uh, you might say, uh, groupings. Uh, I think even high schools today still have that kind of sort of sense of groupings. You know, you belong to my group, you don't belong to this group, uh, sometimes there was a division between the, the athletic guys and the jocks and the, and the more intellectual geeks, as they call them. There was a chess club, there was a debate club, then there was the wrestlers, and then there was the, the basketball players. Oh, it wasn't always. Uh, it, was like, it was not a, a definite barrier between any relationships uh, necessarily. But there was sort of a sense that you belong to my group and I belong to this group. There's almost sort of a separation. But isn't that true even in society? We have different groups, different kinds of people we feel we belong to or don't belong to. And I think the words of Jesus are, are a reminder to us to, to try to look beyond that. And as I think about the reunions, as I, I come to have mass with, a, with a, this scattering of people, even from my own class, some guys I, 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 I remember quite vividly uh, others I don't. And sometimes I look at those lists that they send out from the, uh, the development department of our, of our school of people who are donating. And you look at that list and it's really interesting. Because sometimes there's some guys that were pretty much, they weren't really involved too much. Other guys were very involved. Uh, other guys belonged, you might say, were, were, were pretty s segregated from the other guys in the, in, the, in the school. And yet, they were all giving uh, to the high school that we all went to together. Uh, and I think it's in a very important, you might say, uh, reason that Jesus brings up this whole issue about who's with us and who's against us. And especially, I think it's, it's really uh, revealing when the charge that is made is that they don't follow us. They're not part of our little group, Jesus, meaning the group of the apostles. And, and Jesus says, well, as long as they're using my name and doing something good, why would you object to that? And I think we find that even in, uh, especially with regard to religions and religiosity, uh, I think one of the things that, one of the beautiful things that has been done uh, in the Catholic Church's life is by the leadership of our Pope and bishops, uh, by the leadership of, the, of what they call the Second Vatican Council, to realize that we have to appreciate the work of the Holy Spirit that goes on in many Christian communities, and even that work of that Holy Spirit in, in mysterious ways in those that are outside of the Christian community that God is at work in so many different ways, uh, in so many different groups, and that we have to be very careful, we have to really estimate everything, for whoever is not against us is for us. Uh, I know I've been on a number of, of committees and commissions through the, through the decades of my priestly service of, of our Catholic community here, with men and women, of so many different religious backgrounds. And there are so many issues where our concern and care is very strong and real, whether it's uh, racial equality, whether it's 
dealing with poverty, whether it's dealing with immigrants and, uh, and migration, uh, all of these issues, in many ways, uh, many people from different communities are working together. So take a look at yourself. I know we always feel we belong to certain groups, and we enjoy those groups. There's nothing wrong with that kind of uh, camaraderie and friendship and closeness of association, but don't allow that to take you away from being appreciative that we're all, in a sense, have many things in common, and we can work together uh, for the good of God's people. For whoever is not against us is for us, said Jesus.